Kate, directed by Cedric Nicholas Troyan, who's only directed just a few projects, with his biggest film being The Huntsman Winter's War. But the most interesting thing about this director is that he made a very different and sort of unconventional step in his career to me, where he went from being primarily a visual artist who's worked on some pretty big properties to now directing. And you normally don't tend to see that, so I thought that was interesting and definitely worth mentioning. And the film stars Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Woody Harrelson. So the film follows Kate, a skilled assassin who's been poisoned and now has 24 hours to seek revenge on her killers. Also, she forms an unlikely bond along the way with the teenage daughter of one of her victims. Hmm, yeah, I wanna say that that sounds a little familiar. Nah. We've never seen this before. But anyway, I wanna start this off by saying that I think that I would put Mary Elizabeth Winstead in my top 10 female actress, actresses, actresses of all time. I would put her in my top 10, maybe even my top five. I don't really wanna push it though, but I probably would put her in my top five, maybe. I mean, overall, I think that I would say that she makes pretty decent choices when it comes to most roles that she's chosen in the past. And uh, when it comes to Kate, I might be a little bit biased, but I think it, I think it kind of works, you know? Yeah, I think it kind of works. Now, I wasn't really keeping an eye on this movie, to be honest, but when I saw that Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Woody Harrelson were both co-starring in the film, it really piqued my interest after that. But I'll go ahead and slap my honest opinion on the table right now and tell you guys straight up that <laughs> this is not a great movie. And a lot of you might be thinking, well, duh, you know, I saw the trailers and it looked pretty cheesy to me. But to me, it wasn't that clean cut, you know, when I saw the trailers, because like I said, I did find the trailers to be a bit interesting. With all of that said, it it's very passable though. I mean, this movie was sort of like some reheated takeout from the day before. Like it's not fresh, but it's passable. You know, like you could eat a little bit and maybe throw the rest away. For me, this movie was sort of like that. Like it had some good parts, but I would definitely maybe throw like half of it away. Maybe even a little bit more than half. For example, there was some great imagery in this movie. It was shot in locations throughout Tokyo and Bangkok. So because of that, they had a lot of color compositions to play with and just a lot of fun film compositions in general because Tokyo is a city that just looks f***ing awesome. So the cinematography was very passable. <laughs> and there's that word again. But I just can't help but use it while discussing this film. I mean, shit, it's a very kind of like passable movie. I mean, some people might say it's trash, but I, I think it's passable. Also in this film, although I do love Mary Elizabeth Winstead, I would definitely say it's on the level of satisfactory. Nothing amazing. I mean, I didn't really have any major issues with her performance. Uh, I think she portrayed the character of Kate well enough. Uh, but it, like I said, it's definitely not a performance to blow your socks off. You know, so she plays this very emotionally raw, traumatized, you know, cold-blooded assassin who still has a pinch of kindness and ethical integrity suppressed inside of her. And this teenage girl, Annie, or Annie, however it's pronounced, played by Maku Martinu, is the one who helps Kate confront these suppressed emotions. I mean, and this is definitely nothing that we haven't seen before. You know, serious assassin on a revenge mission makes friends with a kid, has some sort of change in heart afterwards, and then there's just some twist that just fucks everything up again as soon as you thought things were on a road back to butterflies and rainbows. And by the way, this is definitely a twist that you can see coming from a mile away. I mean, I guarantee that you will be able to guess this twist from the very beginning of the movie, probably within like the first five to 10 minutes, you're gonna know what this twist is in this film. So yeah, it's very predictable in that way. So I'm giving Kate a 6.5 out of 10. It's a fun action movie at times with some passable fight choreography, but the parts that are supposed to be taken seriously and, you know, sort of persuade you to sympathize with the characters just feel a bit corny and a bit prolonged to the point where you might lose interest while waiting for things to kind of pick back up again. Yeah, I mean, Kate is definitely a time killer. So just a quick tip, anytime you guys see uh, my mascot do a reaction like this, like he's like he's looking at his watch. That's usually like a time killer for me. So yeah, it's not the worst movie, but uh, if you're one of those people who like to sort of multitask while you watch a movie, uh, this is probably the perfect movie for that. <laughs> yeah. But Kate releases Friday, September 10th on Netflix and in some select theaters. But there you have it. And if you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Thank you for watching.